I'm awkward. I try really hard not to be, and sometimes I feel like I'm getting better, but I'd say 70% of the time, my social skills are very below par. It's like my brain just randomly decides, hey, yeah, you see that person over there? Okay, so here's the plan. You're gonna walk over there, everything's gonna be fine for like two minutes, and then you're gonna say something completely stupid, and then cringe about it for the next four years. Ready? Now go! I don't really have a point of this video, I kinda just wanna tell you guys a bunch of funny stories I look back and facepalm at, because I can get so socially awkward at times. It just happens randomly, and I never see it coming, which scares me. Like, everything's fine, and all of a sudden I'm hit with this wave of not knowing how to interact with people. Like. <laughs> okay, so this one time I was at a tennis match with this one girl from another school and we were walking over to the court to play, but it was kind of a long walk and I didn't want it to be like this extended awkward silence and weird tension, so I decided to try and make a little bit of small talk. <laughs> I'm absolute garbage at small talk, by the way. So if you ever meet me, you have to carry that job for the both of us. Just a warning. So I kind of started a small conversation. So are you in your senior year? No, I'm in grade 10. Oh, you're really tall for being in grade 10. She didn't really say much after that, so I automatically thought I somehow offended her by calling her tall or something like that. My brain was like, oh my god, Jaden, how could you call her tall? I can't believe you would offend her so badly. You have to say something to make it up right now, or else she'll be scarred for life because she's too tall. So I just blurted out, oh, <laughs> but you're really pretty too. Uh... Yep, I freaked her out. <laughs> It was meant to be like a compliment or something, I don't know, but it came out really weird for some reason and she probably thought I was like just a flustered lesbian or something. Not that being lesbian is a bad thing. And then it was an awkward silence for the rest of the walk anyway, which is exactly what I was trying to prevent in the first place. So yeah, I didn't even stop that from happening. <laughs> Another time, I was at the school dining hall with a bunch of friends, and they were talking about something I didn't really relate to, and I couldn't contribute much to the conversation, so I started just zoning out. You know when you start staring into space and just get lost in your thoughts? Yeah. So I was doing that for a while, and I snapped back to see this rando guy across the room uncomfortably waving at me. Turns out, as I was completely lost in my own mind, I was deadbeat staring at this poor guy the whole time without even realizing it. I don't even know how long I was doing it for, apparently long enough for him to feel like he needed to wave at me. And it wasn't like a little friendly wave, it was a, oh my god, why is this chick glaring at me so intensely, I need to do something, wave. And I was like, crap. <laughs> This is awkward, what do I even do? I can't just go over and explain, oh, I wasn't intentionally staring at you directly in the eyes for a socially unacceptable amount of time. In fact, I wasn't even staring at anything. I was blind in that period of time because I was lost in the depths of my subconscious. Don't worry. I couldn't do anything, so I kind of just like looked away and like stewed in embarrassment for the rest of the day. And then, there was this one incident where I was at this fancy restaurant. <laughs> you already know this story is going downhill real fast. So I was at this restaurant and I had my order in my head. I always do that, the repeat what I'm gonna say in my head a million times so I don't mess it up when the waiter asks me trick. I just feel like if I take too long ordering, everyone's gonna automatically get annoyed at how I'm holding everything up, even though it literally doesn't take any time at all and no one cares. So the waiter got to me and I was freaking prepared. Hello miss, what can I get you today? Hello, can I just get the penne pasta with tomato sauce please? That is literally word for word what I said. It was one of the simplest dishes on their crazy fancy menu compared to like the freaking mumbo jumbo like ginger glazed mahi mahi fancy fromage a blanc or golden confit escapolo bane femme bone appetit uh, sauteed in ketchup ratatouille. But for some reason he was confused by my overly complicated order and asked Oh, do you mean the four cheese pasta dish with sun-dried tomato sauce and basil? Uh, no. Yes. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, it was good, but freaking, <laughs> 
I felt like I would have come off as rude for some reason to correct him, which is absolutely ridiculous because he doesn't care what I eat. It doesn't affect him in his life. And by the way, how in the world did he get sun-dried pesto, five cheese, pasta, whatever, basil from penne with tomato sauce? I guess he knew what I wanted more than I did, apparently. Well, those were like three little stories I wanted to share with you guys. Just because I thought they were funny and I think you'd enjoy them. They're all a bit too short to make separate whole videos out of, so yeah. Unfortunately, I have a bunch more little cringe-inducing stories like these, so if you want me to tell you more in the future, I don't know, like part two or something, just let me know and yeah. If you enjoyed them, make sure you share them with your friends, or I don't know, share some of your own little stories in the comments and stuff. But anyway, thank you for listening to my little stories, hopefully you enjoyed, and I'll see you later. Bye! Oh, do you mean the four cheese pasta dish with sun-dried tomato sauce and basil? Oh, do you mean the four cheese pasta dish with sun-dried tomato sauce, basil, oregano, deep fried with gluten-free spinach, sauteed with cranberry oil with 19 different kinds of peppers, and filtered through the Kool-Aid man, and then leaves you right in the middle of dinner? <laughs> with a side of alphabet noodles?